Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you today about feminine hygiene products that are not only cost effective but are very good for you. As with everything else, feminine hygiene products have gotten more expensive over the years and I have some things that I have used in the past few years that not only saved me money but is better for me than some of the regular feminine hygiene products that we normally use. So the first item that I want to introduce to you is the Diva Cup. So this Diva Cup was introduced to me by my doctor because I was having some chronic yeast infections and she recommended that I use this instead of the regular tampons and pads because it doesn't have the cotton in the material that could cause, you know, you vaginal discomfort or, you know, yeast infections. I started using this Diva Cup. And this is not the only kind that you can get. They do have other brands, but this is just the one that I had gotten. And I'm, I'll read to you what it says. It says the Diva Cup is the economical eco-friendly and leak-free way to experience total period comfort. Ultra hygienic, comfortable, convenient, wearable for up to 12 hours at a time. 100% medical grade silicone with no latex, dyes, rubber, plastic, or BPA. Reusable, economical, and eco-friendly. I started using these Diva Cups about probably about four years ago, and I have used them ever since. They do come in different sizes. They come in a zero, a one, a, and a two, and it tells you like by your age, you know, what size you may think that you would need for yourself. I really enjoy using these. The only downside I would say is if you have a heavy flow, you would have to use a pad maybe like for the first couple days. Um, if you, you know, if you have a heavy flow and it kind of, you know, gradually decreases over time. But if you have a consistent heavy, heavy flow, this would not work well for you because as you can see, and I'll open it up so you can see it, the cup. So this is the little cup. And this is the bottom part and this is what you use to pull it out. And if you can see the it shows you how many ounces it holds. And it says um one fourth ounce and one half ounce. So it up to here is a half an ounce. And so it doesn't hold a whole, whole lot. So if you, like I said, if you have a heavy flow, you would have to use something else uh, along with it. But it's it's better for your body than using the, the regular tampons. And then once you use this, it does come with a little book that has, um, you know, frequent questions and answers, how you insert it and that kind of thing. And it has this little bag. This is what you store it, store the cup in, you know, in between uses. You wash it and clean it real good and you store it in this bag and tie it up like this. And then you, you know, you uh, store it in here, put it up for the, until the next use. And I, like I said, I've used this for probably the last four years. I really like it. I do have to use menstrual pads for a couple days when I'm on my cycle because I have, you know, some heavy days and on those heavy days, normally my first day is normally heavy. And so I use that um, on uh, this along with something else on the first day. But after that, I can pretty much just use this and be done. And I will say, so to insert, and, and like I said, it is in the book, but I will show you when you insert it, you just basically pinch it 
and you fold it like this, and then you'll be able to insert it without, uh, without any problem. So you basically just fold it like this and you can insert it. And then when you get ready to remove it, you use this and just pull it out. It's best that if you, you know, want to remove it, you need to be better sitting than standing. And then you will be able to, you know, just pull it out. So I want to, wanted to share that because I thought that that would be something that would be maybe be very helpful for somebody. And it does help with, as I said, if you have had um, issues with yeast infections in the past, it is really a helpful solution that you don't have to worry about getting the irritations from the tampons or you know the pads and that and that kind of thing and it it does save you money this diva cup uh costs about forty dollars but you can use this cup for years so you, you don't have to change it like every so so many months you can use this um diva cup for a long period of time before you actually have to buy another one and replace it they recommend that you keep this Diva Cup for, or a, or change the Diva Cup and get a new cup uh, every year. But it kind of depends on how well you take care of your Diva Cup and how how well you clean it, whether it has stains and whether it has uh, any odor. Uh, if it gets to that point, then definitely you need to change it and get a new uh, cup. But otherwise, you know, if you can keep it sterile and get, and keep it clean. You can uh, keep it for more than a year, year and a half, maybe two years before changing the cup. And as I stated, this cup was $40. However, the one that I just showed you, I actually found it at Walgreens for, for $20. It was on clearance for $20. So I got, you know, that cup. So you're talking about less than $2 a month for feminine hygiene product. The next item that I want to show you that will help you save money on feminine hygiene products is boric acid suppositories. I don't know if y'all can see that really good, but these boric acid suppositories can be used in the place of like a douche. Um, I know that it, as you know, you know, we're not really supposed to douche because it kind of, uh, it will throw your pH balance off. However, you know, sometimes we as women, sometimes you may get that vaginal, you know, odor or whatever. And, you know, some women, you know, do like to, you know, um, do that to make themselves feel clean. With the issues that I, as I stated before, that I had had with yeast infections, I started doing research on ways that I could help myself to not have the issues with those chronic yeast infections. And one of the things that I found was these boric acid suppositories. These things are wonderful. Anytime I feel out of balance or I feel like, you know, I, I may feel that a yeast infection is coming on or I feel like I just don't feel fresh. I You can use one of these um, boric acid suppositories inserted and within a day, your pH balance is back in line. One of the, the things, what it does is, and the reason for a lot of times, the reason why we get yeast infections is because our pH balance is off. And when our pH balance is off, it'll cause us to have a yeast infection. So this helps you get your pH balance back in line. These suppositories are very good to you after your menstrual cycle, because a lot of times your menstrual cycle will throw your pH balance off. And after your menstrual cycle, you can use these boric acid suppositories to get your pH back in balance and, you know, help you clean your body from any of the leftover, um, you know, effects of your monthly cycle. And it's a very good product. And along with this, I also purchased these little test strips. See if you can see that. They're feminine test strips. And this, um, you can use this to test your pH balance. So if you, you see that little strip right there, it'll tell you 
whether your pH balance, whether you're in balance or whether you're out of balance by the colors on the strips. And then you can determine whether you need to do something to get your pH balance back in line. I use these and this to make sure that my pH balance is in line and I have reduced my yeast infections down to zero by using these two items and it really helps and it's really cost effective. These cost about 15 to $20 and they last as long as you need them to. For me, probably six, six months or, or more is 30 capsules in here. And so, you know, depending on, I, I may use maybe like one, one a month. So it may be more than a year, one or more a month, just depending on, you know, what, what's going on. And if I don't feel fresh and if I test and, you know, it says my pH balance is off, I'll use these, this and get my pH balance back in line. This is what the little capsule looks like. Let's see. See the little capsule. And you use one of the little, these things here. This is what you use to insert it. And it, it's really helpful. And this is the box, I mean, if you can see that better. And as I stated, they have other brands, but this is the brand that I um, got at first and I it works very well for me. So I've continued to use this, this same brand. So this right here is another item that can um, save you money on and it's a very good feminine hygiene product. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this kind of content, please leave me a comment in the comment section. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.